this was a, a new feature, I guess, if you will. Um, when that when I opened the package, the seeds were sealed in a cardboard box, and I'm assuming, of course, that this is to protect the seeds during transit and shipping. So, uh, nice uh, new innovation in uh, Toby's seed shipping. So I got into the box, and we have Laqualla naumannii and Culpathrinex afanapatala, and uh, this is a Calyptrocalyx species, and you pronounce that Yamu Tumune or Tumun, germinated, and uh, these are both uh, Crocophylla uh, guagara. Um, so I'm, I'm interested to see if they'll do well. I had luck with uh, was Wikii and uh, was it the other one uh, that I tried? Uh, I can't remember, but anyway, so I'll give these a try. And uh, it was not not attenuata. There was another species I tried, and I, I didn't do so well. Anyway, we'll see what these do. So, on to the planting. And I'll do a follow-up. I'll show you the, if it means anything, I'll show you the seeds after I planted them into uh, containers. I'll probably do that tomorrow, because today is the second coldest day of the year, and I don't want to uh, get involved with any of that. So tomorrow, I uh, will plant all of this up. And then what I'll do is a, a one-year-later follow-up, and uh, we'll see what sprouted and how things look after a year. And how can I fail when some of this stuff is already germinated, right? So let's see, let's see what I can do. I've given these seeds about uh, 24 hours of soaking. So um, we'll go ahead and rinse, drain the water off and then I'll go ahead and get them started. And uh, I'm gonna put them in, the, in baggies, in the baggie method, uh, because it's so cold outside. Uh, otherwise, I would just plant them directly into soil, but it's January, so we'll put them in baggies and keep them near the hot water heater uh, till probably late March, early April. So I took a little bit of this sphagnum moss and soaked it uh, for a few minutes, and I put a little bit of copper, not much, into the uh, into the, to the sphagnum in the water just to help try to make sure that we don't get any uh, mold or fungus. So I got everything in bags, ready to go. We'll put that uh, sphagnum in there and then they'll go, like I said, uh, up next to my uh, hot water heater for the next couple months and we'll see what we get in the way of germinate, germination. I dug through the uh, germinated calyptor calyx and you can see them here on the uh, rim of this uh, saucer. And I got some soil all ready to go. So uh, we're gonna plant up the germinated seeds and get them nice and set up and then I'll probably keep them in the house for a day or two. It's going to be uh, chilly for another couple days so I don't want them uh, dealing with that. I'm also going to use warm uh, tap water, house water, because uh, the outdoor water is kind of cold too. So now that I get everything that I was going to plant in soil, planted in soil, I'll leave them out here in my nursery and uh, if it gets below 50 I'll bring everything in or maybe 55 uh, I'll bring all this stuff in so it doesn't shock. So we've got the uh, Crocophylla and the, um, I believe it was a Calyptor Calyx here. We'll see what they do. And then I also have some Arania palindin and Carpoxylin uh, Macrospermum that I gathered regionally. And um, the cold weather that, I, that we just went through uh, in Central Florida in January, I had to take all my seedlings in, so I had a chance to reorganize everything. So I have brought a little order and less weediness to my my seedlings, so we'll see what happens. One last thing I'll suggest if you're planting directly into soil and uh, going to germinate your seeds outside is to get some kind of screen or shade cloth and put it over your uh, seedlings so the vermin don't get to them. And what I'll end up doing, I'm not going to do it with one hand, but I'll wrap the um, screen underneath um, this tray and another tray that I have and that will protect these things from being dug up by the vermin because that's happened to me a couple of times and so after the second time I actually got smart and, and came up with this <coughs> protection here to keep, uh, I, I assume it's rats because they don't really disturb the soil that much, they just rip the ceilings out. <laughs> 